Okay, I'm working on uh, DSD Plus, trying to follow Trunk Radio and the real nice guys over at RadioReference.com uh, forums are helping me out. And I made a couple of these videos, but there was no activity or no calls, so I couldn't really demonstrate. But as you can see right here, uh, I'm starting to get some calls. And this was the problem before, was I wasn't being able to populate right here. So I'm just going to kind of go through what's going on here. And my main problem is, is that when this, uh, when this FMP VC file, when it populates and I, I get a signal and I'm falling trunked audio, it never seems to translate. It never seems to uh, come over here to the source audio window. So I seem to be doing most things right, but it's not getting to the VC bat file. And let me go over uh, what I've got here. And so what I'm going to do is just shut everything down now that we've seen what the real problem is. And I'll show you my files here. And I cut and paste these from one of the gentlemen who posted on my thread here and I'm um, following his directions here. So uh, I launched this all with FMP CC. Uh, this is a Nano 3 RTL SDR regular generic uh, dongle. Only I am using FMP 24. Uh, it is the first RTL device. It's the only RTL device uh, because my other device is an AirSpy. I'm using his uh, output port number of 20,003, and this is the frequency of the trunk radio that I'm following in New Bern. So now we'll go to CC Bat. And I just cut and paste his command here and his uh, what he's showing me. Input of I-20003. I'm RC because I'm listening. And uh, now let's go to FMPA VC, which is my air spy device. And it is the first air spy device. I put the serial number in the file and all that good stuff um, 20,002 and RV and then the VC bat which is the one I seem to be having trouble with I forgot to highlight it it's also 20,002 and 01 is the output device for my speakers so I should be outputting some audio here so I'll show you my uh, config files here too. Here's my uh, FMPA for the AirSpy device. Um, for some reason it does pick up my serial number. I don't know what that's all about. Um, and uh, here's my FMP24 file I do have my lat long put in here I know there's supposed to be a serial number put into the thing but I'll show you that it finds the serial number uh, when I launch this thing so let's start with the FMP CC which is really FMP 24 finds it locks onto the control channel which is 856 2526 or 25625 yeah that's correct 8562625 sorry about that so I'm locked dead on there doesn't seem to be any drift or anything so now let's launch the CC bat and you can see it is scrolling data I got a signal got source audio here it's not full errors or anything like that um, it's pulling in everything it's supposed to pull in Here's the control channel, 856-2625, and um, all the secondary channels. And again, there's no calls going on. I'm surprised there was a, a flurry of activity before. So now let's go to FMPA VC. 
And again, I demonstrated earlier that when I get a call uh, that this populates and it follows the trunk channels around just fine. And then finally, when I go to voice control bat, this becomes the problem here. Here's my command up here. Uh, I'm connected to that port and my output device is my speakers but it says I got mono auto audio decoding initiated so the VC uh, event log does fill up but I never get any any audio passed here it just uh, there's not even the reference line there or whatever you would call that so again I'm scrolling data locked on to my control channel everything seems to be working in DSD plus EXE just fine and um, when I get a call it hops on the trunk channel fills in the graph here but it's just not making it to VC bat or I'm just doing something remarkably wrong so appreciate any help I can get I hope this helps someone to help me and I'll be standing by and waiting